In this video, we're going to talk about the potential divider principle. And this is a, actually a very easy uh, principle to understand. So first of all, understand that the potential divider principle is only applicable for resistors in series, such as the one you see below over here. Now, let's understand that if the current is I, then the potential difference across R1, V1 equals to I times R1, and the potential difference across R2, V2, equals to I, R2. And so V1 over V2 equals to I, R1 over I, R2. The I is cancelled. And then you have V1 over V2 equals to R1 over R2, and which is precisely what the potential divider principle is. Right? That the ratio of the potential differences across the resistors is equal to the ratio of the resistances themselves. And this is, of course, only applicable to series circuits because, as you can see, it requires that the I's cancel out like so. So how we typically use this, right? I can just say, well, if I want to figure out what V1 is, then V1 is simply equal to R1 over R total. In this case, it'll be R1 plus R2 times the EMF, because EMF is basically the potential difference across all the resistances in series. So essentially what I'm saying is uh, V1 over R1 equals to EMF over R total. So in a more general sense, I can also say V2 equals to R2 over R total times E, so on and so forth. This, of course, can go on if I have many resistances in series as well. And so the potential divider principle effectively gives us a nice way to calculate potential differences without thinking about the current in the circuit.